Hello everyone and now welcome to game number four in this series between War Chief Rich, also known as Huntress Shaped, against Anima 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 here on the bottom right hand side of the map. Alright, a little bit of confusion so far. Anima does have a two to one advantage here on Terranistan going into game number four. Will War Chief Rich be able to even up the series? Or will Anima finish off his opponent 3-1? to one? Let's take a look at what's going down as we are setting up for a very, very standard build so far here. Altar of Kings, Barracks, and Farm. <coughs> Meanwhile, a very, very fast militia already on the other side of the map, causing a little bit of disruption and now setting down that scout farm. Altar of Elders has come into play. Meanwhile, you can see the Ancient of War is right here. Not quite sure why the Peasant did not aggro that Ancient of War to try and force either a cancellation or at least half hit points. That's a very, very common tactic there as that farm is going to be completed here in just a moment. Warden is going to be the hero of choice coming in from War Chief Rich. Solo Warden, a very common hero in Terranistan just because of the high mobility and the ability to creep up to level 5 and level 6 respectively. Let's take a look. So far peasants now just working the lumber line down over here. We're going to see 18 over 24 as the Mountain King going to be the hero of choice coming in from the human player. So far this game, this series has been rather entertaining in that I have not been able to really predict what the players are really trying to go for. Archmage, or excuse me, the Renegade Wizard going to come in with a Lightning Shield, that Archer going to maximize its damage and go after and just deal damage to all of the units here. Well, we're most likely going to see the Archer is going to switch back around. There you go. And that one Ancient of War now going to perhaps start running towards the rest of these Apprentice Wizards. All right, still tanking a lot of damage there. There goes the Renegade Wizard picking up a Ring of Protection. War Chief Rich will get to level 2 rather quickly. Meanwhile, the Mountain King Militia creeping out the Mercenary Camp and most likely picking up that Troll Shadow Priest and maybe even an early Mud Golem. Mountain King, however, relatively low on hit points, already down to 500. Nothing that a Troll Shadow Priest cannot take care of in a few moments. Kobo Geomancer, the last unit left here. The Militia going to be left behind to finish it off as we may see a scout farm or a farm be placed down here. Mountain King going to pick up that Tome of Strength though as the Peasants speed building this farm, getting it up to mass production already. All right, Troll Shadow Priest alongside a couple of footmen. Are we going to be able to get that Mountain King over there in time? It doesn't look like it as all of those units will be left behind. Archmage, excuse me, Warden. Wow. Warden sitting at level 2. Going to finish off this creep camp here. A couple of forest trolls is all that is left. If the Warden can get to level 3, level 2 Shadow Strike does do a number against, um, against footmen. They are rather slow moving units. Add in a Shadow Strike and the Warden can really focus down the unit rather quickly. Forest Troll will get taken down here. Meanwhile, the Mountain King looking to creep out this Renegade Wizard creep camp will finish it off. Picks up um, I believe there was an item there, but was it a Ring of Protection plus 2? I don't think so. Maybe the Potion of Invulnerability, but that doesn't sound right either. Alright, not quite sure what item was dropped behind. I believe it was the Ring of Protection plus 2. Potion of, well, it could be a Potion of Invulnerability. 533 three Creep Camp? No, it's... Hmm. I'll have to double check that, or if someone can let me know. I thought he picked up the Potion of Invulnerability off of this Creep Camp here. All right, let's take a look. Warden sitting at level 2 will get to level 3 after this creep camp goes down. And Kobold Taskmaster will get taken out pretty um, easily as well as the Warden really working hard to try and get to level 3 and then be able to focus down perhaps a number of fleeing footmen. The problem though is that that Warden is currently um, just slowed so won't be able to chase down that many units either. All right, what's happening next? Mountain King already clearing out this creep camp here on Terranistan. And this map is really, really strong for creeping just because of the number of locations there are to creep and the fact that you pretty much have your neck of the woods and so does your opponent. Unless you cross both sets of bridges, there's really nothing to really worry about if you're trying to stay on your side of the map. 
Warden does have Boots of Speed, has a potion of greater mana as well. That's going to be very important for perhaps trying to focus down any number of footmen or maybe even peasants. All right, let's take a look at this. Oh, Shadow Strike on. Oh, no Shadow Strike onto that footman. That was an easy, easy kill there. Decides not to go for it as the Warden now backs off. The Warden sitting at level 3 had the mana to give, and I'm sure a Shadow Strike would have finished off one of those footmen at least. So, um, a little bit of bad play by War Chief Rich getting hit by a Stormbolt with really nothing to show for it as the Warden now makes her way off to the north. Supply count 38 over 40, 39 over 42. We are pretty much even as the panda now joins in on the fight. All right, militia now joining in as well. Are we going to perhaps see a lot of heal being disrupted? Tr um, Troll Shadow or Troll Shadow Priest getting caught in a very, very bad spot, but being completely ignored. And what is going to be happening here? Panda may try to turn around and get the and and get off a of breath of fire. As we do see, defend has been researched. That is going to be important as well as the archers are still being added up. All right, warden seeing that level three warden with fan of knives. Uh, Panda with breath of fire. If he had gotten off a breath of fire or two earlier, I would feel much much better. But no, that is not the case. And the Warden now with Shadow Strike now, it's not going to really make that much of a difference. You see the swarm here, and War Chief Rich perhaps, perhaps teching a little bit too early. There's a Breath of Fire, but that Breath of Fire really didn't hit that much. There was a much, much better opportunity early on to do so, and there is that defend. All right, it looks as though the attack now coming in already. There is a Lightning Shield. There is a um, Abolish Magic there. There's a Breath of Fire and a big Breath of Fire there. The Warden could come off with a Fan of Knives. Let's take a look. So many footmen now getting taken down. There is another Wand of Lightning Shield onto that Panda. And the Panda getting in some easy, easy damage there. This is going to be huge as the Panda now going after um, the units down over here. All right, what's going to be happening? Guard Tower is now coming up and this is looking extremely strong as the Guard Tower is going to get taken down. So far, Mountain King trying to fight off against the rest of the units here you can see mount king now sitting at level four does have a potion of invulnerability uh, perhaps going to use a potion of invulnerability is it going to be able to take down that warden probably not as there is um the gg and we are now all tied up at two games apiece with me without a game number five now unless i am mistaken um which i often am uh, I do believe that War Chief Rich actually, um, War Chief Rich and um, War Chief Rich, which is Huntress shaped and Anima, are both tied up at two games apiece. Unless I did misremember, my apologies. But still, a very entertaining series nonetheless. I will be looking for the rest of the games if they are available. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed the series.